Okay, so I'm just copying this up here and just making it larger so I can actually plug in numbers without it being so crowded. Okay, so now we're gonna use the rules that we learned about rhombuses to find angle measures and side lengths and all of that. So first of all, it starts off pretty easy. It says if DK is eight, um, find KL. Well, it tells us it's a rhombus and a rhombus has all sides congruent. So therefore, if this is eight, then KL must be eight as well. Then number two, it says find the measure, or DML. So this angle here is 82 degrees. Find the measure of DKM. So just this part right here. Well, it's a parallelogram, so this whole angle is the same measure as this. So this whole thing is 82 degrees. Then in a rhombus, the diagonals bisect that angle. So just this part would be 82 divided by two which would be 41 degrees. So measure of DKM is 41 degrees. I'm gonna erase my marks here because, whoa, it's smearing. That way I have more room to write the next scenario. So measure of KAL is 2X minus eight. Find X. In a rhombus, these diagonals are perpendicular. So this angle measure is equal to 90. So I can do 2x minus 8 equals 90 and solve for x. So x equals 49. Okay, next scenario, number four. It says that DA is 4X, so the length of that segment is 4X. AL is 5X minus three. Find the length of DL, the entire thing. Um, it is a parallelogram, so it follows all of those rules, including the fact that these diagonals bisect each other. So this length is the same as this length, and we can set 4X equal to 5X minus three. And I think we're gonna cross these out because this is gonna take room to work it out. So 4x equals 5x minus 3, and we'll solve for x. x equals 3. Correct. It asks us for the length of dl, which is that entire length. So what I'm going to do is say 4x plus 5x minus 3, um, and then plug in the 3 for x and solve for that entire length. DL equals 15. So we get 27 minus three, which is 24. So DL equals 24. Okay, so proof, we're not going to worry about the proof today. We have enough stuff to worry about. Um, coordinate geometry, you may get some of these on the homework. What you would do is take some graph paper and just graph out the shape. And just by graphing it, you can see what the shape is, whether it's a rhombus or um, a rectangle or a square. You'll be able to see it right away once you have it graphed. So if you get those on the homework, just borrow a piece of graph paper and graph it out to figure out what shape it is. Then on the back, these are the ones that get confusing on the homework. Um, just like I did before, I'm gonna draw a bigger version of this so I can plug everything in without it being like so crowded. Okay, so it gives us some measurements here, it says, PRYZ is a rhombus. Okay, that means all the 
side lengths are the same measure. Um, it also means that this is perpendicular. This is a 90 degree angle. It tells us that RK is 5. RY is 13 here. And the measure of YRZ, see this, it's getting crowded even here, is 67 degrees. Find each measure. Okay, number one, it wants to find this measure here. If this was a perfect square, it would be five. Um, but it's not, it's a rhombus. They don't tell us it's a square. We're gonna have to solve for this. And the way we're going to solve for it is using Pythagorean theorem. Because remember, these are 90 degree angles. So you have a right triangle here. You can do five squared plus B squared equals the hypotenuse 13 squared. This is gonna take some room. 25 plus B squared equals 169. And I get B equals 12. So that means this length right here, KY, is 12 units. It gets easier from there. Um, PK, this distance right here, um, it is a parallelogram, so therefore these diagonals bisect each other. So this is the same length as this, and we already found that that length is 12. So PK is also 12. Then angle YKZ. YKZ, um, these are perpendicular, so it would just be 90 degrees. And then PZR, so just this part of the angle. It told us that this part right here was 67 degrees, just that part. Remember, these angles are the same measure, like the whole thing is the same measure, and the diagonals bisect that angle. So therefore, if this is 67, this is 67, this is 67 degrees, and so is this. So PZR is 67 degrees. And then the next one. I'm going to draw it larger again. M and P. Q, diagonals here, this is A. Okay, so it tells us it's a rhombus, that means all the same sides are the same measure, it means that this is perpendicular here. And then it says that PQ is three square root of two, and AP is three, and that's all they tell you. It wants to know the length of AQ. Um, they're using something you haven't learned yet, special, they're hinting that this is a special right triangle. You haven't learned this, but um, this signifies that these angles here are 45 degrees and 45 degrees. So it's a square. So I'm telling you this is a square, so then it's gonna follow all the rules of a square. So for AQ, this would be three units. And then APQ is 45 degrees, um, because if this is a 90 degree angle, half of that would be 45 degrees. And then MNP, well, if it's a square, then this has to be 90 degrees. And then PM, this whole distance, well, if it's a square, it follows the same rules as a rectangle, so all of these are the same measure. So PM, that entire length, would be 3 plus 3, which is 6 units. Coordinate geometry, again, if you get those, just draw it out, and you'll be able to see what shape it is pretty easily. Um, and then tessellations, this one's on the homework as well. The figure is an example of a tessellation. Use a ruler or protractor to measure the shape, and then name the quadrilaterals used to form the figure. Well, at this point, it can either be a rectangle um, are those rectangles? No. It could be a square. Are they squares? 
No. So they're run by. And that's it. Okay, you guys have a good amount of time to do the homework. What's nice is a lot of the homework problems are right here, so make sure that you keep your workbook out so that way you can reference it. Um, after you're done with the homework, Khan Academy is reset for the week, so use some time to get Khan Academy started. For Khan Academy, I feel like I made it a little bit more challenging this week. There are a few easy ones, um, but they aren't all easy this week. So if you need help with them, just let me know and I'll help you through them. So you can get up, get a laptop, get started.